In this brief session, we're just going to look quickly at the config panel menus. So we're already in the home screen. If we were not, we would hit the home button, hit config, hit panel, and here you see your choices. Panel assign is by far the one that you will use uh, maybe not every single show, but just about every show. Here is a and it, and it will cover the assign in a later session in, in greater detail. And this uh, ME delegation, the only thing in our system here with the 1.5 that, that matters is the program preset and the ME half. And those are all available here to assign wherever you want them. Uh, so we don't have to worry about ME 1, 2, and 3 unless you run a much larger system. That's all we need to say about that and an auxiliary control panels. There's nothing really uh, that we use this for that I've used to this point. If, there, if there's something that needs to be done in this area, the engineer would certainly take care of it for you. So we go back, we just look at this assign menu once again, and that really concludes the uh, panel overview. In this brief session, we're just gonna look at, uh, we're in the home screen again. I would hit home if I weren't there. Uh, we're going to just look briefly at personal settings. There's really one thing that to me makes a difference and that's the shift mode. Uh, there is a crossbar tally that can, can either be uh, red or just bright. Uh, it just Red just seems to work for all of us all the time. I, I don't think I would change that. But the shift mode, what happens when you hit the shift key it's just kind of nice to know if the, the modes are latch mode. So when you come down here and you hit this shift key in the lower right, notice that it stays lit. And to turn it off, I have to hit it again. So that means that while that's lit, everything I do on the program bus is going to be shifted. That could get you in trouble, but some, sometimes that's a, that's a good way to operate it. If we change that latch mode to momentary, then it will only be lit when I hold it down. So if I need to select a source on the shifted side of things, I hold it down and I can select the source. When I release the shift key, it goes back. So the very next thing I do, if I think I'm hitting camera one, I really am hitting camera one, as you see uh, down here. So that's the only thing that's important as far as I'm concerned on the personal settings. Uh, shift mode is the only button that I'm concerned about. 